All right, so here's a test flight here on your uh, 250 frame. You can see I actually just uh, finished building it here not too long ago. Um, I have it set up pretty nimble, uh, the CC3D that is. It's not too aggressive. That is something later you can change. Um, uh, the receiver is not installed here. I am flying it with my own receiver. I don't have a Spectrum receiver on hand. Um, but all the programming is saved in the CC3D, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, you will, although, have to calibrate your uh, radio to the CC3D. Uh, so just be aware of that. It's very easy. I don't know if you've ever done the assistant on the uh, GUI for the CC3D, but it's very simple to do. It literally takes probably two minutes. Uh, and that's just teaching the CC3D uh, your radio. Pretty much is teaching it the movements. Um, there is a 1300 milliamp here, you can see, mounted. Um, you can fit up to a... Uh, I'd say no more than 1800 milliamp. You have the space here. Uh, later, if you do want to do a video transmitter, I'd mount them here piggyback side by side with the receiver. I lay them both on their side. Uh, you can run your video transmitter here in the rear. Um, you can see it's fully isolated top deck. I don't know if you can see it here, the way the sun's hitting. There we go. It's fully isolated top deck with dampeners built in. You can either put your GoPro or your FPV camera up here. Obviously, if you put the GoPro, the, the battery's going to have to move to the rear. Uh, to compensate for the weight. Um, I probably put the GoPro up here and the FPV camera down here on the bottom if you are going to run one. Um, it is running the 5x3 props. Uh, let me know if you like these uh, green ones. I have white ones as well. Uh, that's, let's take it on here for the maiden flight. Alright, there you go, that was a quick test flight.